After lunchtime, we're gonna have knockout, right? You guys not play knockout? So the winners of knockouts are gonna go home with a clinic bag and a water bottle, okay? So if you win knockout, that's what you're leaving with. In the afternoon, we're gonna have all games. You guys are gonna be split up on different teams. Everybody's gonna play. The team that has the best record, that entire team is gonna leave with a clinic bag and a water bottle. We're also giving away different uh, bags and stuff for best sportsman, uh, best sportsmanship, MVP, best teammate, Mr. and Mrs. Hustle. Okay? So all of those different things should be a really good player. Listen to what your coaches have to say, you might win one of those. How we're gonna end the day? We're ending the day with an all-star portion, right? Everybody see all-star weekend before? Right. So all-star weekend. You see that rim over there? That rim comes down.
That's making it happen out there, man. How does it feel, man? You know, to lose such a game, man. Crazy. Feels crazy. So, so what do you, what do you guys, coach? What do you um plan to have your guys do different, man? Well, the one thing we're gonna work on is play better defense. Your name, coach. See, this is the problem right here. They talk too much. Don't listen enough. Well, it's a learning process, and that's why we got great guys like you out here. Because this is not only just a coaching thing in basketball; it's also mental. That's what I'm trying to teach you, like the attitudes, we're not going to do the attitudes here. Like I'm not putting up with nobody's attitude here, like we're doing too much talking, we're not letting them listen. 
So I go in and have a good time and show ourselves and get better in the process. Well, well, what do you plan on doing different? Defense. How, how, how do you guys think, how do you guys see uh, uh, turning this turning this season around, man? Because Let's three and pass the ball. Let's three and pass the ball? Yeah. All right, coach. Let's three and two. All right, coach, man. Thanks a lot, man. Um, And, you know, you guys, you play hard, man. You shouldn't feel bad. Man, you got great. We got the girls there. Everybody going to play hard. We're going to have fun. Okay, coach. You're looking like a familiar face, man. We got a lot of familiar faces here, man. Your record is 3-0. and You just pulled out another one. It seems like we were just here Absolutely. two minutes ago. So um, what what do you contribute all this success to? It's all work. Each and every one of the players contribute and share the ball, and then they look for each other to, to win. Well, I was I was noticing that I see a couple of the players, uh, they have actually practicing some of those moves they were working on in the clinic earlier. Practice makes perfect. Perfect. That's what they're all here for. When they practice something on the station, they have to bring it into the game and incorporate it, and, and it works. It works well. Okay, so um, I, I I don't know, man. I I, don't, I wouldn't even ask you to do anything different, man. You guys are three and zero. I think we got the formula right now. We're gonna stick with what we got. All right, guys. You guys are three and zero, man. How does it feel, man? Feels good. Real good. All right, man. Well, thanks a lot, man. We won't hold you up for some water break. Go ahead, man. Go be hydrated. What I want you guys to do, I want you guys to do a big hand for all the coaches, everybody in the best group. What did, what did you learn today? You learned a jump shot? Okay, uh, what about you? What did you learn today? Why is the crossover very important? Why is the crossover very important? That's great, I like that. That's a good answer. I saw you, you was doing your thing today, man. You did good today, man. How, how was it? It was great. It was great? Yeah. Had fun? Would you come back again? Yeah. Okay. This was good, y'all. We had the college viewer show. Um, Coach Cash, Sheik Hamid, I've been doing this for a while. And, um, I really wanted to come together and just bring this whole thing together. And so I got a great group of guys from Iona, from, from all different colleges and stuff. And just dudes that I've been close with over the years. And we do a lot of different events and everything, but I really wanted to do something special. So I'm coaching here at the college viewer and like, I do a lot of different events and so like this particular event called The Clinic, we wanted to like really come together and bring together everybody just to have like a great event for the kids in the show. And I'm also an assistant principal in Harvard, so I got all my students from Harlem, about 50 of them got on the bus to come over. Um, my wife's a teacher in the Bronx, we brought those kids from the Bronx and we brought just a lot of good people together in order to put together this one day event for the boys and girls in 2014. And we're just going to showcase as many different skills and drills as possible. We got guys out there uh, showing kids dribbling drills, showing defensive drills, and just a lot of energy from strength and agility. And all the kids are having a really great time. There are about 150 kids like, that are in the building. And just nobody's coming here for any uh, money or any finances. Everybody's just coming out because they're really good people. We had Alex Montgomery here earlier. She had a shoot around at 10 o'clock, but she was here with us. So Alex Montgomery um, is a uh, star player for the New York Liberty. And, um, you know, she's fresh face in the WNBA, she's led them in scoring on numerous occasions. Uh, she is definitely one of their rising stars and one of the rising stars in the WNBA. She had shoot around this morning at 10 o'clock, um, but instead of going to the shoot around at 10 o'clock before her game tonight at 7 o'clock, she was here with us in New Rochelle. So she was here in New Rochelle, New York, as opposed to like uh, any place else she could have been getting some extra sleep before shoot around. Shoot around was at 10, she stayed here until 8 45 and then drove to New Jersey. So New Rochelle, New York, New Jersey, that's at least 40 minutes like that's going to take to get out there. Um, but she made that sacrifice so she could be here with us. So I'm really appreciative uh, for her. So for anybody that wants to get involved in the clinic, like, like we're always, I'm always available and accessible. If like, you're ever in the New Rochelle area, I'm here with College of Rochelle. I 
to teach in home and like I have the system to teach in home, but we have our website. And the website is thinkingbasketball.com. You can always go there, you can email us, you can call us. Any feedback that you want to give, we're always welcoming more people that want to be involved in this whole initiative just to give back to our kids because if we don't do it, nobody else will. I want to give a big shout out to my man, Steve Kirk, so he was telling him and played with me and graduated in 2000. He's currently playing right now in Spain overseas professionally. And he came in the last six days, he's gone from Venezuela to Madrid, from Madrid to Florida, uh, to Miami, from Miami to New York, just so that he could be able to play with him. So he's here today. I got Phil Grant. Phil Grant also played at Iowa with me, like, uh, love him to death, Brooklyn uh, uh, native. I got Corey Homicide Williams, um, and Corey was a part of the clinic from the very beginning. I got Krabby and Rasaul Young, who's currently the head basketball coach at New Rochelle High School. Um, and he's here, like, uh, showing the kids everything. Uh, Samara Marsh. Samara is the, Sam is the assistant coach at Monroe. Um, I have Naima Ricketts. Naima Ricketts is our Iona alumni. She was Naima Gale from uh, up until 2009. She graduated. I got my wife there, my sister in law here support, and I have um, uh, Mike Sanders, who's also I own a grad, like um, from Waterbury, Connecticut. He's doing a lot of things, just wrote a uh, brand new book that's about to be out. Um, and he took uh, some time to come here. I got Andre Gaffigafi, who's a manager at I own, so it's almost like everything I own. Um, I have a bunch of my girls that were playing me at the college of Russia, and they're here as well. And so those girls are helping me out. I got Ian Kendrick, um, Howie Tempest. And um, you know, for Nubia uh, are here from the College of New Shows. We got Jason Bell, the Wax. Uh, Jay Bell is from Iona as well. He's out in Long Island right now. He's in the school system as well, in the education system. Um, I just got a bunch of good dudes. Uh, I mean, I, I know I didn't run them all down. Mark McCullough's here. Uh, also, my own grad assistant coach at Ohio, soon to be the uh, head coach at Ohio. So we just want to welcome you to the experience. And, um, I'm really grateful for the experience and just I'm looking forward to doing this every year and um, looking forward to like more and more kids, more and more clinics and um, I can't wait to see what it brings.